order to really appreciate and understand what's going on over here at the yeshiva, you have to walk through the hallways and see the enthusiasm, the dedication of the members of the staff throughout the entire spectrum of everybody who works here. I think that one of the keys to the success of our program is our outstanding faculty. You see their excitement, their dedication. They wouldn't trade their job for anything in the world. This is what they want to be doing with their lives. They get tremendous amount of satisfaction from teaching the students, from creating the environment in the yeshiva that enables such a high level of academic achievement and such a high level of growth all around. This is their main focus, this is their main idea. The teachers are here early in the day, they work at school together, they collaborate, they have time to meet with students during their morning breaks. The teachers really have your best interest in mind and they really truly do set you up for success in all aspects and in all areas of your everyday life and for the future. And that trickles down to the students and that creates an atmosphere of excitement in the learning, of enthusiasm in the learning, of students who really want to be here and enjoy their growth, sense their growth, and have the ability to share the growth with all the adults that are involved throughout their high school career to give them that nachas, to give them that sense of pride, to get that sense of pride themselves and really bring them to their next level in life of post high school where they become ready to face the world, face their different career choices, the different academic choices, whatever it's going to be, they're very, very well prepared and they continue with tremendous haslacha, with tremendous success throughout their lives. I think the proof is that when our graduates come back, um, you know, to say hello and to check in, uh, they look and to find their teachers, they look to find their rebellion, um, you know, they have many, many fond memories, they thank their teachers and their rebellion for preparing them for their future endeavors. Uh, they are successful in different kinds of academic programs, work programs, because they were given the knowledge, they were given the tools, the skills, and the motivation by the dedicated faculty that we have here to prepare them to pursue their future interests. And that, to me, is uh, one of the biggest measures of our success. What I love about Yeshiva Torah Chaim is the amount of dedication that the Rebbeim have to the, towards their Talmidim. Every day my Rebbe comes into the classroom and he has comes in with a big smile on his face ready to learn Gemara, to already uh, introduce us to a new sugya or a new tosfos. Growing up in today's day and age, any teenager needs somebody who could understand the world, could understand the Torah, could understand what Hashem wants and could help guide him to grow in the way that Hashem wants. The Rebbeim are teaching us that no matter who you are, no matter where you come from, no matter what background you have, you have the capacity to learn. You have the capacity to love learning. Every single one of our BAM here has had a tremendous, tremendous career themselves in Yeshiva. And that developed a tremendous appreciation and understanding of what learning is all about, how the mind works, how to be mechanic, how to teach a child. Each kid's different. Each kid has their own mental capacity that's different. Each kid's on a different level spiritually and emotionally. And what they do is they is they encourage each person to learn on their own individual level. And their BAM are masters at this. And you see it in every aspect of the Rabbeim's interaction with the students. Obviously their main focus is the learning is the classroom. But it spills over to all aspects of life. The Rebbe in Yeshiva Torah Chaim is much more than just a teacher in school. He's a person that I can confide in trust in, a person who I could talk to about anything at any time. The Rebbeim cares so much about you, but never will you ever feel that you're just part of the mix or like forgotten about. You always feel that somebody is there to care about you and to feel for you and has a grasp of where you're holding. <laughs> The whole relationship over here is really, really tremendous and an integral part of the growth, a meaningful part of the growth, and it really propels the ability to transmit the Misora on a much higher level. I have a question on the Gemara, I ask my Rebbe. A small misunderstanding in Ashkafa, I ask my Rebbe. You'll find the Rebbeim 
talking to the boys in the afternoon. Every shear has revenues here from 7.30 in the morning until at least five o'clock. I want to talk sports, I go to my Rebbe. I need a meal for Shabbos, I go to my Rebbe. Taking them out for a day at the park to connect at a different level, arranging trips for the boys, Shabbatones. That's who Rebbe in Yeshiva Torah's high. I also love having the base Avengers guys who are always there for you to help you out. They're kind of just, they're like a big brother to us. I can't imagine what my high school experience would be like without base Avengers guys. Base Medrash guys, for me, were real life examples of normal, with it, Nator. If you ever need anything, just go to the Base Medrash. You can always talk to one of them, ask them to help you in uh, Sheer. Realizing what my Base Medrash guys did for me helps me appreciate the opportunities I have now to interact with the high school guys, to learn with them twice a week, to schmooze with them, and to just be awesome friends. Because we want our students, uh, we recognize that they're here many, many hours a day, and we want them to be comfortable here. Uh, as comfortable as it's possible to be in school. Uh, we try to create the different opportunities for them to pursue interests, to relax. Right now in our school, we have six different leagues that we offer for the students. A vast majority of the students participate in these leagues. Never ever will you be bored in Yeshiva Torah Shrayam. We have a volleyball court, a basketball court, pool tables. There's a certain underlying uh, informal philosophy that we have here, and that is that if we're going to do it, we want to do it right. We're really trying to make sure the students have plenty of opportunities to present themselves both inside and outside the classroom. We have 10th graders and 9th graders on the same team interacting, getting to play basketball with each other. And then in the hallway, when they see each other, it'd be like, nice pass. And it starts the whole conversation. You have Brian Becker on the courts when you see his dedication of coming up with program after program. You stop off in the exercise room and you see Mr. Richardson pushing the guys one more push up put a few more pounds on, on, those, uh, on those weights. You walk into the media center and you see Mr. O'Toole working with the students one-on-one, -on -one, help, helping them out with a Florida virtual class, helping them out with a math assignment that they're having a little difficulty with. Our media center is a unique place. It's really the hub of the school. At any time, there will be lots of students there. And uh, we also keep changing and rotating uh, different kinds of elective or enrichment classes on Friday in the secular studies area and on Sundays in Limude Kodesh to again provide uh, exposure to students for different kinds of areas uh, that they may not have time in the normal busy schedule that we have so that we can meet the, the needs and, and the interests of a broader spectrum of our students. We are encouraging the students to pursue healthy outlets in the most enjoyable, organized, and professional way possible. The yeshiva has two dorms to accommodate out-of-towners and even in-towners who want to be closer to the yeshiva. I just came from Mexico City, from another country. This dorm is great, it's awesome, and I'm really happy that I came. We have a lot of different kids here. There's a lot of kids who are doing different, are going to do different things later in life. But as of now, when we're in yeshiva together, we're all focusing on the same thing. We're all focusing on learning and striving to be the best person that we can possibly be. Uh, it's not a cookie cutter program where every ninth grader has the same schedule, every tenth grader has the same schedule. It's amazing to see a ninth grader dance with a twelfth grader. Usually it doesn't happen that way. A ninth grader and a twelfth grader are on so-called different levels. But they're not looking at that. They're looking at, oh, we're all part of the same yeshiva, we're all part of the same collective unit. We're all striving for the same goals and we're all dancing to the same music.